In the last 10 years, Snack has provided fighter training stack supplements to more than 20 world champions, including Mikey Garcia, Demetrius Andrade, and Caleb Plant. If you're ready to take your fight game to the next level, the Snack Fighter Training Stack is for you. Good evening. Good evening, Loma. Congratulations. Hi. Good evening. Hi. Congratulations on another Thank fine you. performance. Um, I just want to go straight in. And Bob Aram mentioned Luke Campbell in London for you if the Mikey Garcia fight doesn't come through. How much would you like to fight Luke Campbell and maybe fight in the UK? It will be very great. It will be a very historical fight because it will be two Olymp Olympicas. So uh, for me, I, uh, like I said, I love uh, uh, UK fans. I love uh, UK uh, boxing people. They understand boxing. So I want to come to UK and fight with uh, Luke Campbell. Because, of course, he was the bantamweight champion in London, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, uh, do you get a lot of responses? Sorry, Lance. Do you get a lot of responses from British fans who want you to come to the England? Do you, do you get a lot of calls and questions and requests to come to England? Yeah, in the social media, a lot of, a lot of questions uh, about that. Yeah, they ask me, hey, come to UK, come to UK, please. So, of course, for me, it's, it, it's big. Final one. You were there when Usyk fought Bellew, weren't you, in Liverpool? Yeah. How much do you? Um, yeah, I know. Um, how much did you enjoy the atmosphere of the British fans around boxing? I love it. I love it because always you hear a noise. Always you hear a noise. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, it's very cool. Thank you. Thank you. It. It seemed like the best thing for you tonight was the fact that you had both arms fully working. I know you said that after the fight. Did you know this type of performance was coming based on that you had that in training camp as well? Yeah, of course, for me, it was very comfortable when you work with two hands. You know? <laughs> Can you, do you feel like you, I know you said something in the ring. Do you feel like you want to say more to Mikey Garcia? Because it does seem to be a fight that, is it begs to make it makes sense to make it right now it's ready to be made don't you want to say right right this second mikey garcia come and fight me look uh, everybody knows about our fights everybody wants this fight i think it depends his size it depends his weight if he can cut a weight we can organize this fight, but if we can't, if he can't cut a weight, it's not happen. You think it's all about weight, not how you look? Of tonight? course, because I don't want to go up 140. Because 135, it's not my weight. I can't go in 140 now. Okay, thank you, Lama. Um, and Zerdo, speaking of weight, I mean, for you tonight, you look so good at 175. Do you think you're going to stay there for good, or could you go back? Callum Smith was there ringside tonight and wants to fight you in England at 168. So what will you do, do next? Uh, I want to, uh, I want the best. I want to fight with the best. And if he want to fight in 168, I can make, but I prefer to stay in 175. It goes to 168. <laughs> I have two chambers at 175. <laughs> Over here, Mohammed Mubarak with EURweb.com. Lamachenko, I want to ask you, uh, right here, oh, oh, yeah. yes. I want to ask you, uh, how quickly did you find out that it was going to be easy for you tonight? And once you realized that, what did you, how quickly did you make your decision to just be explosive? After after second round, after second round. So coming into this fight, you really didn't really know that this was going to be that easy. No, 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 no. I I I think uh, it. Uh, it w I think it will be very hard for me because his style he, he sit always in a defense, you know, and 
uh, I think it will will be very hard for me because I, I always need to uh, find find the key for his defense. So after second round, I understand him, and it is what it is. Loma, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. But let me ask this: How is possible for you to look better and better in every fight? I mean, you're going like looking better and better. What is your formula? <laughs> because I train very hard every day, every time. I train hard. I want to say, to say very big thank you, my team, my my father, my coach, who made me, who make me. He teach me every time. So very big thank you, my team. You are almost like a legend now. But what is your motivation? What, what is the thing you that know, you? You know, you know my motivation. I always said I want to unificate all titles. This is my motivation. Thank you, Ernesto. Ahora quiero preguntarle al Zurdo Ramírez en español, por favor. Eh, Zurdo Ramírez, hoy sorprendes a, al mundo entero porque se hablaba de que iba a ser muy difícil para ti el subir a la 175. Sin embargo, en mi opinión, luciste como un semi pesado natural. Pues la verdad que me sentí muy bien, en excelente preparación, gracias a a Julian Chua y Joel Flores que me dieron las herramientas también y yo creo que es lo mejor para mí, el 175 y, y me siento como un campeón. Previa Tania Championa. Congratulations. First of all, Rich Ortiz here with the Fighter's Voice. You know, we talked about different fighters coming your way. We've mentioned Mikey Garcia, but let's not overlook Jose Ramirez, who's willing to drop down to 135 and possibly fight you in September or May, single the mile of next year. Are you open to that? No problem, of course. It will be very interesting for fans, of course. I know you fought him in the amateurs before. And of course, styles make fights and they it, uh, change in the professionals. Are you willing to uh, meet him at 135s? Yeah, I said, yeah, I'm ready. Just wanted to make sure we get that Yeah, I'm by. ready. Thank you, sir. I think you're ready for anybody. No problem. Great performance tonight. Thank you. Hey, hey, guys, congratulations to all you guys for your uh, tough fight tonight. Cameron Buford, LA News Observer. Mr. Lomachenko. Uh, can you talk about the knockdown, no knockdown in situation where, did you think that was a knockdown? I think the referee stopped the fight. You, you, I, you, yeah, you, yeah, because he, you know, he jumped in be behind, uh, uh, he jumped in between us and uh, show, show with uh, both hands this move. And I understand, hey, maybe it's tough. That's why a celebration. Yeah, I saw you run to the, run to the corner. I, I've never seen any of that before, so it was a surprise to most of us. Um, but congratulations on your fight. Thank you. Nice way to clean them up out of there. Ramirez, that was a pretty impressive fight for you. What's next, you. and how do you continue to develop your, uh, that tenacity that you showed today? Uh, we'll, I want to go back to the gym, training hard, and I will talk with my promoter, and let's see what... Uh, what is uh, the next for me and, and the best? Uh, Ramirez, uh, te, te hablaré en inglés, vale? Um, just kidding. Um, uh, yeah, um, there's, two, there's two great fights out you for there um, with Callum Smith and Billy Joe Saunders potentially at super middleweight. Would you like to have those two fights? Callum is here or was here tonight? I would like to fight with the, the best fighter in the world. And that's what I want to. Do you think Callum is the number one? Yeah, no. Zurdo is the number one. But he's ranked number one, isn't he? Yeah, he's So why aren't you calling him out? Yeah, but uh, uh, let's see. Let's see who's the number one. Can I just ask Lomachenko? Uh, Loma, just to let you know, um, Anthony Crawler has not gone to hospital. The nose is OK, but he's just very sad that he lost to you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> One more. Um, right, three guys for you to fight at lightweight. Mikey, Gar Mike, Mikey Garcia. Mike, three guys, yeah? Mikey Garcia, Teofimo Lopez, yeah? And Luke Campbell. Who is the most difficult in what order? I think it... 
I think uh, most harder it will be uh, Campbell. Second place it's Mikey, and uh, and and second Mikey. <laughs> Thank you. Vasil, first of all, congratulations on your win. Uh, you called out Mikey. Have you and and Bob talked about it about fighting yes, Mikey? Yes, yes. Uh, right after after the fight. Bob, your thoughts? Well, you, you understand. The man just went up to 147 pounds. Loma, myself, understand boxing. If you go up and you fight at 147 pounds, it is extraordinarily difficult to come down to 135 pounds. That's not to say it's not possible. So it's up to Mikey. Can Mikey come down to 135 pounds, defend his title against Loma's two titles? That's up to Mikey. I can't talk to it. All I know is from my experience that it is a very difficult thing to do. That's all I can say. Can he do it? Well, isn't that up to him and up to his nutritionist and so forth? I don't know. Loma, BoxingVoice.com. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, I have a question, but I see the cut. Do you feel fine? Where did that come from? Do you really know? Yeah, it was uh, in, in uh, last fifth round, fourth round uh, with a with a head, hand, head with a head. Okay. Uh, my question to you is: uh, Obviously, you called out Mikey Garcia after the fight, but earlier in the week you mentioned Javante Davis and you mentioned how you would fight him for free. Obviously, we know, you know, you wouldn't actually fight him for free. But what are your thoughts on Javante Davis and a possible matchup? Because many people ask Floyd Mayweather. He said the kid isn't ready yet for the fight. Floyd Mayweather is his promoter. Floyd Mayweather, of anybody junior, knows about boxing. The question of whether Giovanni Davis is ready to fight a master like Loma should be put to Floyd Mayweather Jr. Let him answer that question. But Don't ask stupid stuff about Giovanni Davis when his promoter says he's not ready. But you know, I think Geronta Davis, he's best of the best uh, fighter in the Twitter. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. I, I want to just now, I want to make a special announcement now because you see at the table, there's uh, the pride of Japan, Asaya Ito, the 130 pound world champion who will be defending his title uh, on ESPN uh, in Orlando uh, against the fighting Marine, Jamal Herring. Uh, that's May 25. And we're proud to say at top rank that we have signed a promotional contract, a uh, co-promotional contract, because he also has uh, my great friend Honda-san uh, of Taikin Promotions. Uh, it's a co-promotional contract, long-term, with the pride of Japan, one of the great, great fighters. He beat Christopher Diaz to win the title, Masaya Ito. Where's Ito? Where is Ito? What? Come on up here. I know he had blonde hair last time I saw him. Yeah, I knew, I thought he was saying, right, right. Good to see Say something in Japanese, I'll translate. Hi, good, good evening. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. No problem. No I'm problem. sorry. <laughs> uh, first, I I want to say I uh, want to say uh, thank you, uh, Top Rank, and uh, taking promotion for for give me opportunity. Opportunity. Uh, Opportunity. Don't worry, you English like <laughs> mine. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. Okay. Sorry. Uh, opportunity to have press conference and fight again in United United States. I'm really happy and 
excited to join to top rank. I know Jamil Heading is good, very good fighter, but I guarantee I show very good fight on May 25th. Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and it's really great to have uh, three world champions, uh, which we promote, uh, one we co-promote. Uh, and look, they come from all over the world, from Mexico, from Japan, from the Ukraine. The boxing is a great worldwide sport. It's really, around the world, the equivalent of uh, soccer or football, as they call it then. Uh, it's played uh, in all countries around the world. There are fighters coming from every place. And it, that's the strength of the sport. The strength of the sport as American fighters, English fighters, Irish fighters, French fighters, Italian fighters, Mexican fighters, Japanese fighters, Chinese fighters, Ukrainian fighters, Russian fighters. That's what the sport is all about. And it's about time that the press sings the praises of the sport of boxing instead of taking little digs of which promoter is doing which to which other promoter and talk about how great this sport of boxing is. You miss Kazakhstan. What? You miss Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan fighter. Oh, Kazakhstan. Oh, I couldn't. <laughs> and also Uzbekistan. Oh, yeah. I can't fight it, right? Uh, good evening, gentlemen. Uh, Vasily, it was an amazing flight, uh, fight. Uh, we want to thank you. Um, what will you say to your Ukrainian supporters? There were a, a lot of Ukrainian flags. Uh, what you, will you say to them? I want to say big thank you because you know I I feel like at home. I feel like it, it uh, like in Ukrainian. So very big thank you. What you uh, come in Staples Center and support me. Vasily, congratulations on the win. Thank you. How did it feel to sell out Staples Center? Well, it's the, there's, a, there's a young man. Not only is he fantastic in the ring, but he conquered Madison Square Garden. He conquered now Staples. Next stop, maybe Chicago. Right? Yeah, it will be good, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. Right. We gotta go Thank party you. and eat. Thank right? you. Thank you. Yeah.